and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scout mid-range. It's been a long time since we played uh, the Scout deck, so wanted to go ahead and play this one again. We got Misfortune, we got Quinn, and we have a lot of Scout units. Of course, Genevieve Elmhart being the best, but then also Grizzled Ranger and even Gring Fang Warden. This card's a little underrated. I like this one. This is a you know definitely a great attacker whenever you play it because of the barrier. You get to just throw it out there. But also a good blocker. Like this is a good card to play on your defensive turn. If your opponent plays something kind of big and it would be more you know kind of difficult for you to block, you get to play a green green fang warden, and then it really makes their um, attacking against you a lot worse. Also playing blinding assault. This card's pretty good, getting some extra um, scout challengers in here with the valors, uh, being able to use spell mana on valor. Um, that card helps out because we want all of the scout stuff because we want to be able to level up Misfortune and Quinn. I mean, both of them you have to attack four times. And so that's our goal is attacking four times. Sorry, excuse me there. All right, so that's, that's our deck, scout midrange. Let's give it a try. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. And we will see how it does. It's been like a month since we played this one, probably. That'd be my guess. Okay, Elm Hearts are gonna go. I'll keep Misfortune Grizzled Ranger. Usually I wouldn't really be keeping Grizzled Ranger too often, but I could see my opponent playing like a, a slower deck. And I could see that scout unit being important. And I guess we play Protector on turn two. I don't love playing Protector on turn two all of the time. Yeah, this is this is definitely... Joski says this variant of Misfortune is my favorite because the constant flip. And yeah, I agree. Like, this is the version that levels up Misfortune the easiest as far as decks that I've played. Maybe I just keep the spell mana. I just keep that spell mana. Run yielding spirit. Track them down. And concerted strike. Soldiers to me. No prey, no pay. Show them our metal. No, don't have single combat. Slow down, will you? Good chance turn five we're going like Bright Steel Protector and Concerted Strike or something like that, or you know, even maybe Unyielding Spirit, like Good chance turn five, we're not playing Quinn on our defensive turn and playing some other stuff instead. Why would you not just block with Vanguard Cavalry and take two damage on the Cavalry to get rid of that Grizzled Ranger and that ability for me to do that? I don't, I don't know. That feels. And then you're willing to just attack with it. How you doing? Is this just Radiant Guardian? I wish they had priority first and would play Radiant Guardian first. I want them just to play Radiant Guardian and then I Unyielding Spirit. My come. 
That's what I want to happen. I want to just be able to Unyielding Spirit this turn. Yeah, that is like maybe I'm supposed to offer the pass, but I don't know. Like that's so much mana that I'm wasting, but I guess they're just wasting two less. It's tough. That's a tough call. I'm gonna do it like this. Nah. Yeah, Unyielding Quinn is, is honestly probably better than Unyielding Misfortune. It's just... Do we think they have another single combat in hand? That's the main question. Do they have another single combat? Because Unyielding Quinn is, is honestly better. I'm going to try it. Like, they have to have single combat. If they do, I lose. If they don't, I win. Like, this is... I certainly win if they don't. Yeah. Well... We'll see how certainly that is going to be. Because Quinn, Quinn will be able to attack twice a turn because it has Scout, and each time will be able to be getting me Valors challenging and stuff. I mean, they could have their own Unyielding Spirit, and then, you know, it's not... You know, then it's not necessarily just a win, but... Um, Noxus... Demacia... I don't think they have things to get rid of this one. Hey, yeah! Good call there, Tizzle. Hey, congrats on the wedding, Grace Claw. Welcome back, I hope it was a blast. Hope everything went well. Oh, they got our luck stack. Because it is possible that I lose. <laughs> I guess it is possible. Puts me down to six. So I, I really want to play Concerted Strike next turn, so that's 5 mana. If we want to play Elmheart and Concerted Strike, that's 11 mana. Eight, so that means I can only spend 0 mana this turn. Well, 1. Um, so I guess I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go with, like, Blinding Assault hey, and Protector. I'm one of the, good guys, but not that good. the next turn I could have Blinding Assault, Protector, and Concerted Strike.
Rangers, with me! Going to the light! Scouting ahead. I will end this here. Just like hunting thresher geese. Justice takes flight. Okay, I'm just gonna play the war chefs. We'll save. I'll save Bright Steel Protector for my defensive turn. To gain all this life back. Thanks, one above. Yeah, because unyielding it doesn't. They can't take damage, and so life steal. You gain you gain life equal to how much damage it takes. So it can't take damage, so they don't gain life. Condescending Noxian. My shield is yours. Discipline and steel for the glory of Demacia. Okay. So still heart steady aim. Challenge there. Fly swiftly, kill swiftly. That valor challenges that one automatically. Each time the valor challenges the strongest enemy, and so it checks power first and then health afterwards, so five Four is more powerful than five, three. I fight for the fallen. Hmm. not the easiest fighting through all of these all these huge tough units but we're we're trying I'll defend these forests to the end we will defend them to the end That just levels up Swain like immediately with the 10 damage that dealt. I guess I only dealt 5 because it, it, then it died. The strongest enemy is a 5-5, so that's going to get pulled to the side. So we can attack here. So we can... Alright, we're going to attack with everything except for the 4-4, I guess. Feel the sizzle!
Gotta survey the battle. Eat up, friend. You dare oppose Noxus. Maybe I was supposed to just let these die. Okay, they're just blocking there. So Ranger's Resolve saves this Bright Steel Protector, which will go back to being a 4-3, and then it'll be a 4-1. Um, so I can play this to make a 4-1, or... Yeah, it's probably good to have a 4-1, right? They do, they do technically gain one less life, because this does one less damage. Because of the tough. So instead of them going to, to six, they go to five. Basically, the, the, the way they beat me is Swain, Stunning, all sorts of stuff. So, like, Leviathan. That's how I lose. Um, that also makes life difficult. So that makes a final spark, which stuns my 5-6 Quinn. Well, this Quinn's trying. They just have all haymakers. <laughs> It's just nothing but haymakers over there, but my Quinn's trying. Thought we were gonna win, but I guess that was before they went like Lux, Lux, Swain, Radiant Guardian, Radiant Guardian. And then these uh these four Demacias have been awesome. Like that's been that's been pretty cool. For their side. Four Demacia has looked great. That's game. Yeah, I only have four blockers, they have five attackers. Both those four Demacias were amazing. Yeah, they got they got some remembrance luck. For sure, getting you know, getting tough units every single time with remembrance. Definitely got some remembrance luck that helps those things stay alive. So yeah, I ended up losing. Yeah, the tough tough does make both of our challenge both of our champions hurt quite a bit. Yeah, discard deep deck's gonna be really fun. We played against it last night with our deep deck, and the person that we played against came in here and, and was talking about it, and um, I made some changes. Made a couple of changes in there. I added... Um, like, I, I added Twisted Fate to it. There's like one change. And some other card. Jury Rig. It'll be fun. Yeah, stats buffs for everything and having tough. Like, that, that was just a great combination of all those 5-5 five, five toughs and... Um, 
four Demacias. It was just a great combination. You're covered. The trap is set. Maybe I just don't do that with having these two Bannermans. Yeah, we'll just see how fast they level up Ash. The, I played against this deck one time, like where they used like Ice Veil Archer and Brittle Steel really aggressively like that, and I thought they were just wasting Brittle Steel, but then they just killed me super fast with a leveled up Ash and Crystal Arrow before I could stabilize, so we'll see. But yeah, that I mean, they turned they turned one spell mana, you know, they they turned a card that was one spell mana into a 3-1. That's not so bad. Um Nothing gets between me and my mark. I don't know, like they pass priority. If I didn't have Quinn in play that really rewarded me for attacking multiple times. I would, I would just be passing here normally. Should've just passed. Huh? Depending on, you know, taking the 3-2 with the 2-1. Yeah, but like what, how, how does second Bannerman really help? I mean, it just turns Valor into a 3-2. It doesn't the blade, help it kill. too much. One banner, one destiny. Oh man, we missed? I mean, it's obviously we have Misfortune on top. That's the only card that... Only car that can go there. So I want to keep Valor alive for Misfortune. Um, which means I need to single combat this. It's just which one of these do I want to get rid of the most? Do I want to get rid of Fleet Feather Tracker over Bannerman? Like, I don't know. Maybe not. I'm not sure whether I get rid of 3 3 or 2 1 Challenger. Yeah, that's a good call. Let's get rid of the Bannerman that missed. Let's do that. That's good punishment. Dang, and Fury of the North? We don't get don't get two misfortune attacks. Just the one now. No prey, no pay. What did we catch?
I I think they should be probably healing the trapper instead of just gaining one life. No closer. All right, Greenfang Warden, that's a scout, that's good. And I now have protection for Reckoning with taking out one five power thing. We have single combat for another. Saving Riposte to protect Misfortune, if need be. But maybe that's just wrong. Maybe I need to be saving like that scout. I'm going to be just left with just Misfortune and Bannerman. That card doesn't do anything. Noxus! Yeah, that's that's what we played before, actually. Yeah, I, I used to have two Great Horns in this deck whenever we played it before. Um, and I decided to take out the Great Horns for more War Chefs and Rangers Resolves, yep. That was a change I just, just made before this video. <laughs> How did they not block with Omenhawk? And you don't want to just fire off Repose first. I know I didn't kill them, but you don't want to just fire off Repose first because of Harsh Winds. That's and just Frostbite cards good. in general. Alright, one and one. Um, I remember like whenever I, I played, because I played the deck quite a bit before with the Great Horns, and... The Great Horns didn't never did that much. And with more like Ezreal decks running around, I wanted another Rangers Resolve, and I just kinda wanted some some more War Chefs to be a little bit lower, but um You know, the War Chefs have been okay, but not spectacular. Not as good as what the 5-5 five five would have been, especially in the first game. Alright, playing this matchup again. Just one. There's just one unyielding spirit in here. Let's look at a new hand. One of the lower cost cards than what we had. So, mulliganed all of my four and five mana cards and six mana cards, and we got more four and five and six. They 
they probably have a two mana card. They probably have like the two mana five one or the two mana three one. Ooh. They don't. Patience. Do I trade repost for that thing? Probably not. Not when I can Bannerman next turn and turn these into 3-1s. Three 3-2s, three sorry. 3-2s, they would challenge that anyway. I will unite the Freljord. For the glory of Demacia! Show me a target. Hmm. And Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron are too good. That was not the card I meant to play. Now I don't have Concerted Strike available. I meant to play Bright Steel Protector. Got your back. Nine damage in. They walked around. Trad. Bow to no one. Sure hope they don't have another Brittle Seal or Elixir of Iron. If they do, this is going to be pretty rough. I'm glad that thing's not attacking, so I wanted to, to wait. Yay! Not enraged Yeti, that's good. Their pride will cost them. Maybe I just, instead of letting them play another blocker, maybe I just go straight for this right now. These woods belong to us. Instead of just challenge, resolve, challenge again. So then they play they play one blocker. Then they gotta play a blocker and do that. Alright, fine. I'll, I'm gonna do this. I 
I'm basically scared of Reckoning. That was the main reason why I'm scared of Reckoning. Um, I mean, I don't want my Valor to die with the Enraged Yeti. I was, I was too scared of, like, Elmheart Challenge and then Reckoning. Yeah, I mean, Reckoning is still just a huge blowout if they ever want to play it. What do you see, boy? <laughs> no, we won the previous match against Frostbite. I'm not very confident in us winning this this match against six cards. Right. They just drew crystal arrow. Right. I play something and it can't block. These cards are just so cheap. Get to play Ash and Trifarian Assessor and Crystal Arrow all on that same turn. And that was like, what, turn 7? Maybe it's turn 8. I guess it was turn 8 to play the two units the same turn. And then just attack for, you know, 20 that I can't block. So I guess I wish I would have... I wish I would have just not played around the... Uh, yeah, I wish I would have just gone straight with the Elmhart. Anyway, Elise Maokai. Well, this is a curve. Unfortunately, we don't have the attack token turn three. That would be... That would be ideal. Is us attacking turn three. But I, I get to play Misfortune on turn three on defense. Then I can play Gringfang Warden on offense. Or Bannerman. Um, yeah, it could be a snap find deck. Could be. There's nothing to fear. Hush now. Darn, they weren't scared. I was hoping they'd be scared. We must all make so basically, I gotta hope that they don't... Um, oh, Ranger's Resolve is great. I have to hope that they don't have another one, one damage removal spell. Ranger's Resolve certainly helps that. Come on! Set That wasn't good. Every 
One's a guard. What do you see, boy? <laughs> Uh, my opponent is not playing Karina Control. They're playing an Elise Maokai unit aggro deck that doesn't have hardly any spells, but they've just drawn all their spells. We can still win this. Makes it worse. I'll be damned. The perfect answer is against, you know, like we drew the Strangers Resolve just too late before the. Should have had those before the Vile Fees. These woods belong to us. Still got six mana. Their pride will cost them. Kind of think I just let's see, maybe I just go here. You have the concerted strike to take down Elise. Single combat's a good draw. Don't get to Concerted Strike and Single Combat. Or let's see, I don't get to Bannerman and then also have Strike Combat. Um, but if I go Bannerman, one banner, one good, as long as that hits. They can't keep me from blocking Elise. At least not. Unless they have something else. Grow up so fast. No fear. <clears throat> All right, stabilized at five. Hopefully. What it's looking like. Bertrand, quickly to me. Yeah, I'm gonna need more coffee. Oh, fresh soil. Symbol worth fighting for. 
I'm just gonna pass turn. Just let all those die. And one. Wait, no, no, no. We're two and two. I marked the last one that we lost as a win. We're two and two. Ooh, what do we get? 2,000 shards. That's multiple thousands of shards. All right, and a scout mid range. Going for match number five. All right, Joski. Thank you so much. Have a good night. So how's the sound going for y'all? Is, you know, is the sound better? Like, you know, the levels with, you know, the board and everything. Is anything too loud, not loud enough? Um, is the, the sound smoother and crisper, hopefully? So far, so good. Good to hear. Cat in a jetpack. Second month now. Keeping that sub going. Thank you so much there, Cat. Um, that's awesome. I appreciate that. Got a sub today. First one. We are on the board. We're not doing a good job of having the attack token turn three in our misfortune deck. Oh, wait. We're going to have the attack token turn three. Never mind. Yay! <laughs> Turn three attack token. Maybe I should wait until. Maybe I should even cast Valor and wait till my turn. Like, I play Misfortune, then they do something, and then I play Valor. Like, maybe. And if they just kill him, his fortune, we got a backup. Fresh out of mercy. Love ya. No scouts. So we can single combat and fight the monkey idol. Them for getting those powder monkeys that just get free blocks.
So we got a question of Bright Steel Protector or Vanguard Bannerman. Bannerman means both of my trackers die. Got your back. So I'd probably go Protector. Can Bannerman next turn? Yeah, you don't want to cross me. I think that that's a worthy trade. So they're currently three out of five. And I'm two out of four. Pain is nothing. Mm. For the glory of Damasia. Stand and fight. We're just going to, have to play the other misfortune. Still no scout. Still no scout. It's our deck. We're scout mid range. Find me a favorite loop. Look behind you, a three headed monkey. Man, are they still just pass. That's pretty great. Hey there. Don't mind the knife. Yeah, that's pretty great. Yep, GG, Sejuani, too good. I can barely stay alive, but it doesn't really help because now Powder Monkey dies to Misfortune Trigger and Frostbites my team every turn. Um, I mean, I guess I can, I guess, so we have to sacrifice everything except for Oh, wait. No, that, that leaves my single... I need that single combat for the Sejuani. What am I doing? Now we plan our revenge. Yeah, that's... It's just so good. Yep, 
yeah, you do get, you know, Sejuani. Yeah, it's it's a five six overwhelm for six mana, and you get you get a two mana spell with Caught in the Cold. Um, and then also then when it levels up, it just dominates the game like that. That card's pretty great. Um, all right, so with our deck, it did seem like we had a like we didn't quite have enough power. And the, the War Chefs didn't look as good as I thought they would, like, with this deck, with, with us, like, wanting to have, like, so many scout things attacking all the time. I think I think I would re probably take out one War Chefs. And honestly, I think I kind of want to play the Siren. Kind of want to play one the Siren in this deck. That gives you four cards that miss with Bannerman. Missing with Bannerman is really rough, obviously, and we did miss with Bannerman with just the three cards with the Misfortunes. But I kind of want to play one, the Siren, to give it a little bit more power. Um, yeah. It doesn't help Concerted Strike or Single Combat, so as far as like this ability, all it does is help Misfortunes trigger. But it's a 3-7 a scout is a really good body for a scout unit. It gets you that misfortune. Um, if you have a misfortune and if you have a misfortune in play, then the, the misfortune will be a make it rain, and then the make it rain will do extra damage. I think the I think I want one siren. Alright, so there we go. That's scout mid-range. Um, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the Siren. Is that, is playing a Siren better than playing one Riptide Rex? Maybe it should just be Riptide Rex. Um, we saw Riptide Rex, um, you know, do some great stuff against us. Uh, I guess that was the previous deck, but, um, yeah. Let me know. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Scout Midrange, and I'll see you for the next video.